pretty good performance. Guy was real awkward, late minute guy. Um, how would you describe the fight? Well, um, um, uh, you know, it was a very tough fight. The guy came to fight and, and it was kind of awkward, you know, and difficult style, but and tough, you know. He really have a good punch and and very strong, you know. And uh, I really had to work a bit patient, you know. What I mean, I, I couldn't really make a mistake because I, I knew he can he could hurt me, you know. He looked kind of tricky. Like yeah, he was. It was awkward. Yeah, it was awkward. It was. It was tricky. And it was hard to really, really kind of like define him. You know what I mean? I heard one of your coaches say he's kind of like an insider boxer guy would know that that was a tough fight. But like yeah. a nerd might look at the record and be like, oh, that's an easy fight. But right. Very, very deceptive guy to fight. And you had to be on your game tonight. Yeah, I have to. Yeah, exactly. You know, I have to really be on point and. Uh, I have to really like be careful what distance I took, you know, because like, like I said, it, you didn't really know what what punch is gonna throw, you know. And he was strong, a very strong kid. So what's next? You know, you we know you beat Ricky Burns. You have a belt at lightweight; it's unclaimed. Where do you want to go for that title shot we were talking? Well, about? man, I go anywhere, everywhere. I don't care. I'm not the kind of fighter that I have to. They have to they, they, you know, I don't have to. I'm not the kind of fighter that have to spoil me. You know what I mean? I don't care. I want to prove I'm a good fighter, a real fighter. Nowadays, a lot of fake champions. And I want to prove that I'm a, if I go and take a, a belt, I'll go wherever it is, you know, their house, and I don't care. You know what I mean? But I feel like the Ricky Burns one is, like, the hardest one for me to accept because I feel like all of boxing realizes you won the fight. But they just took it away from him. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, I think it's kind of hard to, to get the fight because, uh, I mean, they protect him so much, you know. I mean, it, it's not it's not him. It's his promoter, you know. He's protecting his business, you know, and he don't want to – he want he want he want to take a yeah he want to take a risk with a big champion with a, somebody big name so he can he can uh, uh, make money with him you know. What's your favorite Creedence Clearwater Revival song? The the what? The Creedence. The CCR song. I know it's. I got that you're I, I, the Creedence. I got to spend on you. Which one? The, the Creedence, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I gotta spend on you. And you told me you're a good singer. Can you sing a little bit? Oh man, I don't fucking sing, dude. <laughs> I think I do better boxing, you know. <laughs> do a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. So are you trying to return before the year's over? Maybe on. A yeah, I, 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 yeah, I have a, I have, uh, we have an agreement that we have a, an, another fight soon. So hopefully, I don't know, maybe a fight many on the card. I don't care. Well, I mean, I, I think that's like that. In my head, that was kind of like the plan. I would think you versus Kerry Flanagan makes a lot of. Man, sense. you know what? Uh, I think I'm a, I'm a. I'm the kind of fighter that I really put entertainment. I put a good show, and why not? You know what I mean? If they want to put a good show on TV, I believe I'm, a, I'm one of those fighters that they need. Well, I think you're also a real likable. In America, we like people that work hard yeah. and that get things done, and that's what Ray Beltran's career has always been. Yeah, I, I always will work hard. You know, I've been, been working hard my whole, my whole life and try to make it happen, you know? Finally, uh, talk about your team a little bit. Well, my team, I have uh, such a great team, and I got a... My boy right here, uh, first of all, I say my friends, you know, because first of all, uh, it, we're friends. So we're family. So this is my, my boy Ernie. We used to train together a long time ago. And uh, now he's my trainer. My main coach is uh, Pepe Riley. We worked together for like 10 years, more, maybe 12 years, 15 years, yeah. And my other girlfriend, I mean, my, my, my boy, my, my friend. And, and, we got, and we got two white boys in the team, you know. Nothing but real heart, man. It's not about race, about a good soul, man. You know, uh, my friend, uh, uh, Brian and my my friend Eddie. I was gonna say something different, you know. I don't want to hurt his feelings. <laughs> no, man. But I'm happy with my team, man. I don't, you know. I'm I'm blessed.